lesson five is all about standard, expanded, and word form. So let's get started. Number one, part A, they've done for us. So in word form, they wrote five thousandths, and then in decimal form, decimal numeral form, they wrote five thousandths. Part B, 35 thousandths. So we need to write 35 thousandths as a decimal. Now, we can use this place value chart that I have over here, and we see that it ends in the thousandths place with 35 thousandths. So on my place value chart, I know it ends in the thousandths place. So there's a five in the thousandths place, and we just need to make it 35 thousandths. Now, since we have our decimal point right here, and there's nothing here in this tenths place, we need to put our placeholder there as a zero. So it would look like, and a lot of times, we like to put a zero in the ones place just to help the decimal point stand out. So it would be zero and 35 thousandths. C, nine and 235 thousandths. And always means a decimal point. So when we see the word and, that is always our decimal point. So we're gonna have nine and 235 thousandths. So again, it ends in the thousandths place. So in order to make it end in the thousandths place, we have 235 thousandths. Nine and 235 thousandths. 800 and five thousandths. So again, and is our decimal point. We have 800. So before the decimal point, we have 800. So we're gonna need to make 800 and five thousandths. So again, five in the thousandths place. There's nothing in the tenths and hundredths. So that's what it would look like. 800 and five thousandths. E, we have eight over a thousand or eight thousandths. We'll have eight in the thousandths place. There's nothing in the tenths or hundredths. So eight thousandths. Clear up some space here. 28 thousandths. So we would have an eight in the thousandths. We need to make it 28 thousandths. Nothing in the tenths place, so it would be 28 thousandths, seven and 528 thousandths. So we have seven holes, seven in the ones place, and 28 thousandths, so eight thousandths, 28 thousandths, and 528 thousandths. And then 300 and 502 thousandths, so we have 300, and 502 thousandths. Express each of the following in words. So here, since we are three places behind the decimal point, that is the thousandths place, so we would say this is eight thousandths. So we have to write out each word, eight thousandths. Make sure you get the THS on there so that we know it is behind the decimal point. 15, so we have 15 holes. We can write 15. Our decimal point means and. So we write 15 and. We have 62. We just need to know what place value that two is in. Well, the two is at three behind the decimal point, so it's in the thousandths place. So we have 15 and 62 thousandths. And then lastly, our whole number is 607, so we can write 607. Our decimal point tells us that we need to write and, 607 and, then behind the decimal point, we have 409. So I'm gonna write 409. And then that nine ends in the thousandths place. Thousandths. So we have 607 and 409 thousandths. 
All right, number three, write the number on, the place, on a place value chart. Then write in an expanded form using fractions or decimals to express the decimal place value in units. The first one is done for us. So it wants us to write it in a place value chart, which I believe you have a place value chart. Um, maybe your teacher wrote one out for you, or you can just make your own. Um, so A, they've done for us 27 and 346 thousandths, and then they wrote, as an example, they wrote it in fraction and decimal form. So for part B, we have 362 thousandths. So on your place value chart, right, 362 thousandths. Now we need to do expanded form. Let's use fractions for the first one. So the first digit that's not zero that we have is a three. So we have three times The three is in the tenths place, so we're going to do three times one tenth. So we have three times one tenth plus we have a six as our next place value. That six is in the hundredths place, so it's going to be six times one hundredth plus our next place, our next digit is a two. That two is in the thousandths place, so two times one thousand. So there is part B with fraction form. And then C, in our place value chart, we have 49 and 564 thousandths. We need to write it in expanded form. So let's this time do it in decimal form. We have four times, it's in the tens place. So 4 times 10 plus a 9 times 1. I think they didn't up here in the sample, but I think it's easier to see if you group them with parentheses. Just kind of helps visualize what's grouped together. You don't have to. Like I said, they didn't do it in the example. Plus, we have a 5 is in the tenths place, so 5 times one-tenth plus six times six is in the hundredths place one hundred plus the four is in the thousandths place four times a thousandth so there it is in decimal form number four write a decimal for each of the following use a place value chart to help if necessary The first one is three times 10, which means we have a three in the tens place. So I'm gonna put a three in the tens place. Then we have five times one. We have a five in the ones place. Then we have two times one tenth. So there is a two in the tenths place. Seven times one hundredth. Seven in the hundredths place. And six times a thousandth. So six in the thousandths place, which ends up being 35 and 276 thousandths. All right, B, nine times 100. So there's a nine in the hundreds place. Two times 10, two in the tenths place. Three times one tenth, so I'm gonna put a three in the tenths place. And seven times a thousandth. So I'm gonna put a seven in the thousandths place. Now notice, we have some blank spots here. The ones and the hundredths place are empty, so I'm going to add zeros in there as placeholders. And we end up with 920 and 307 thousandths. And lastly, we have five times 1,000, so I'll put a five in the thousandths place. Four times 100, four in the hundredths, pl hundredths place. Eight times one, eight in the ones place. Six times a hundredth, six times in the hundredths place, and five times a thousandth, five in the thousandths place. Again, filling in my empty spots with placeholders, we get 5,408 and 65 thousandths. Number five, at 
the beginning of a lesson, a piece of chalk is four and eight hundred seventy-five thousandths inches long. At the end of a lesson, it is three and one hundred twenty-five thousandths inches long. Write the two amounts in expanded form using fractions. So at the beginning, using fractions, let's see, let's write it in here just so it's easier to see where each place value falls. We have four and eight hundred seventy-five thousandths. We need to write it using fractions. So we have four times in the ones place, times one, plus, then we have eight in the tenths place. So eight times one tenth, I'm gonna group them again, plus seven times in the hundredths place, seven times one hundredth, plus, five in the thousandths place, so five times one thousandth. Then at the end of the lesson, she has three and one hundred twenty-five thousandths. So we will have three in the ones place, plus one in the tenths place, plus two in the hundredths place, plus a five in the thousandths place. All right, last question. Mrs. Herman asked the class to write an expanded form for 412 and 638 thousandths. Nancy wrote the expanded form using fractions, and Charles wrote the expanded form using decimals. Write their responses. All right, so let's start with fractions, since that's what we were just doing. I'll write it over here. We have 412 and 638 thousandths. So, we would have four times one, 100, sorry, I messed up that already. Four is in the hundredths, hundreds place. So we're gonna have four times 100, plus one in the tens place, plus a two in the ones place, plus, Six in the tenths place plus a three in the hundreds place plus an eight in the thousands place. So there's the fraction form. Now let's write it using decimals the way that Charles wrote it. So the beginning's going to stay the same because there were no decimals, they're whole numbers. 1 times 10 plus 2 times 1 plus, this is where it gets different, 6 times, we're going to write as a decimal, 1 tenth plus 3 times 1 hundredth plus 8 times 1 thousandth. And we are all finished.